In this video, we're going to have a look at the new pre-release of Dark Mode for Inventor 2021. So a few things to note. I used the words pre-release, and that's because this isn't a fully fledged release yet. It's still being worked on, so you're going to take preview that's going to get better and better over time. So as the point releases come out from Inventor over the year, this will get better and better. In fact, by the time you see this video, there might even be a new version available. But let's have a look at what's happened. So with the release of Inventor 2020, the light theme was brought out. And with 2021, that's now been extended to this dark theme. Once I select the dark theme, it tells me it's in pre-release, that it's continually being enhanced, and there's an option to click on the details tab to get even more information. And this will tell me about any new features that have been added to the dark theme as this gets improved by Autodesk. So I've chosen the dark theme. You'll notice that the ability to choose the amber UI has disappeared. You'll also notice that they've created an in-canvas color scheme called dark. So we're gonna apply that. And after a couple of seconds, I now have the dark theme loaded. And you can see it looks pretty cool. Okay, so what do we need to know? Well, we've spoken about it being in pre-release. And that means that some things have not been migrated over to the new UI just yet. So we've seen in the part environment that things starting with the whole tool moved over to the panel environment and everything that's supported by the panel environment is in dark mode already. Some things haven't been brought over yet. So in assemblies, things like constraints and joints are still in the old UI. So you get light themed pop-up boxes go over to the part environment. A lot of the things inside the part environment are now in the panel, which means that they're available and look really good. The tools, however, like the loft command and a couple of others that are still in the old UI. We'll come back to those and look at potential workarounds a little later on. We spoke about the theme, so you'll see that I've got a sketch over here. If we have a look at the sketch, we'll see that the color scheme has been set up quite nicely. So dimensions come through in green, fully constrained geometry is white and unconstrained geometry is purple. So if we were to add a dimension, you'll see that that all goes white and I'm now fully constrained. So it looks really good, nice and visual. And just to show off a little bit of the interface, if we do an extrusion, choose the bit inside. There's our extrude command in a panel using the dark theme. Again, our drawing environment looks pretty good and most of the tools inside of the drawing environment don't really use a lot of visual feedback or pop-up boxes, so no great shakes there. So all in all, it looks really good and if you like what you've seen so far, you can close the video down. If you want to see some additional potential workarounds, stick around. So what am I on about? We start with the chamfer command you'll see that it's using the light UI as well. And a few others like shell, fillet, draft, etc. Now the good news is that these were added to the mini toolbar a few years back and the mini toolbar supports the dark theme. So let's look at what we could do as a workaround. What I suggest is if we go to our view and user interface and choose mini toolbar, go back here. So if we click on fill it now, you'll see that it sort of rolls up the fill it command and gives me the mini toolbar. So what you can do is you can grab this fill it command and just drag it down the bottom over here out of my screen. And I now have my mini toolbar. So if I click on fill it, off it goes. Now by default, the mini toolbar is not pinned. So this means that it'll sort of pop up around about where you are on the model. I want to pin this to always appear in this area. So I'm going to click on fill it and I'm going to choose to pin toolbar position and I'm going to drag that up here. All right. So I'm pretty much set now. All I need to do is go to each of these commands, drag the window out the way and they will now pin themselves in this area for me straight away. Okay, so now working in the part environment, 
I have the ability to use the mini toolbar in dark mode without any compromises. Actually, I'll admit it looks really good. There are a few things that are still going to be worked on. But we hope that you enjoy the new dark theme.